Dogs are known for their loyalty and affection towards humans, but sometimes they may display signs of discomfort or dislike. All dogs are individuals with unique preferences, likes and dislikes. While some dogs like baths, others hate them. And while some like fetch, others aren't interested. Similarly, while some, probably even most dogs may like you, some won't. However, that's not to say there isn't anything you can do to help them come around, but we'll talk about that later. In today's video, we'll outline the key behaviors that may indicate your dog isn't as fond of you as you'd hope. Our goal isn't to upset you, but to help you understand your dog's needs better and strengthen your relationship with them. Let's dive in and learn how to make your dog see you in a new light. One of the most obvious signs that your dog may not be fond of you is if they avoid you. When a dog leaves the room whenever you enter, it's likely they're trying to maintain some distance. Dogs that aren't thrilled with you won't make an effort to stay nearby when you're around. In addition to avoiding eye contact and ignoring your commands, they might simply get up and leave the room as soon as you come in. This avoidance behavior can manifest in several ways. Your dog might leave the room entirely, find a quiet corner to hide in, or even retreat to a favorite spot where they feel safe. It's important to observe these patterns as they can indicate that your presence makes them uncomfortable. If you notice this behavior, it's crucial to address it with patience and understanding. Try to identify what might be causing your dog's discomfort. Is it something specific you do, such as loud noises or sudden movements? Or perhaps there have been past negative experiences that are influencing their behavior. To help your dog feel more comfortable, start by creating positive associations with your presence. You can do this by offering treats, speaking in a calm and soothing voice, and avoiding any actions that might startle or stress them. Gradually, as your dog begins to associate you with positive experiences, they may become more willing to stay in the same room and engage with you. Another clear sign that your dog is uncomfortable around you is when they flatten their ears or exhibit whale eye. Simply put, if you can see the whites of a dog's eyes, it isn't a good thing. Dogs will often tuck their tails, flatten their ears, or show whale eye when they're scared or uncomfortable. A dog may exhibit whale eye if they are uneasy with what someone is doing to them, such as being hugged, being petted in an area they don't want to be touched, getting examined by a vet, or having their nails trimmed. This can also be a sign of aggression, so it's important to take note of these behaviors. Whether your dog is scared or feeling aggressive, flattened ears and whale eye are serious warning signs and may indicate that the dog is about to bite. Another thing, a telling sign that your dog may not be comfortable around you is if they don't accept or are hesitant to take treats from you. Anyone familiar with dogs knows how much they appreciate a good treat. So, if a dog is avoiding a special snack just to avoid being near you, it's a clear indication they may not feel at ease in your presence. Treats are usually a surefire way to get a dog's attention and affection. When a dog willingly takes a treat, it signifies trust and a positive association with the person offering it. However, if your dog hesitates or outright refuses to take a treat from you, it might be because they are feeling scared, anxious, or distrustful. To address this issue, try to create a calm and positive environment. Sit quietly and offer the treat without making sudden movements or loud noises. Use a gentle tone and give your dog some space to approach you at their own pace. If they still seem hesitant, try placing the treat on the ground and stepping back a bit, allowing them to take it without feeling pressured. Dog owners always hope their pets will come running to greet them warmly upon returning home. If your dog doesn't show enthusiasm or affection when you walk through the door, it could indicate a lack of emotional connection or even dislike. Typically, dogs that are bonded to their owners display excitement and happiness when they return, often wagging their tails, jumping up, or giving affectionate licks. This joyful greeting is a sign of their strong attachment and love, but if your dog barely acknowledges your presence when you come home, it's a signal that something might be amiss in your relationship. This lack of enthusiasm can be disheartening and might suggest that your dog doesn't feel as close to you as you'd like. So, what can you do if your dog seems a bit meh when you come home? Try building up the excitement. When you come home, greet your dog enthusiastically, give them a little treat, or engage in a quick play session. These actions can help associate your return with positive and fun experiences. Additionally, spend quality time together through walks, playtime, or simple cuddling to strengthen your bond. If your dog's lack of enthusiasm is sudden, consider if there have been any changes in their environment or routine 
that might be affecting them. Sometimes, stress or discomfort can cause a dog to withdraw emotionally. Another sign that your dog may not be fond of you is if they avoid sleeping around you. If your dog doesn't seem to want to sleep in your room, it could indicate a trust issue. Wolves and wild dogs purposefully sleep in small, confined areas, with pack members they trust to protect against predators. Similarly, our dogs see us as part of their pack and rely on us for protection. When a dog chooses to sleep away from you, it might be a sign that they don't feel safe or secure in your presence. Another sign that your dog may not be as fond of you is if they ignore your commands. Research has shown that dogs with a strong bond to their owners tend to follow commands more reliably, even in distracting situations. If your dog often ignores what you ask them to do, it could indicate that they don't view you as a leader or lack the motivation to please you. Also, there's a subtle sign that's easy to miss. Hesitation before obeying commands. When your dog pauses before following an order, it's as if they are considering whether to comply, which is not typical in a well-bonded relationship. This hesitation might reflect uncertainty or a lack of trust in your leadership. So, what can you do to improve this? Consistency is key. Dogs are creatures of habit and respond best to clear and consistent communication. Establish a regular routine and make sure your commands are straightforward, always rewarding your dog with positive reinforcement when they obey. Another clear sign that your dog may not be fond of you is if they don't like being touched or petted by you. Petting is usually a reassuring and bonding activity between a dog and their owner. If your dog regularly recoils from your touch, avoids being petted, or shows signs of discomfort when you try to make physical contact, it's a strong indication that they are not comfortable with you. This behavior suggests a lack of trust or even fear, and it's important to approach this issue with patience and understanding. And there you have it. The good news is that many dogs will warm up to you, even if they're not showing much interest in you at the moment. It's all about patience and understanding. Give your dog space and time to adjust and make them feel safe in your presence. Continue to be consistent in your interactions and go about your day-to-day -day routine, allowing your dog to approach you on their own terms. Remember, each dog has its own unique personality and way of expressing themselves. Sometimes, they might just feel uneasy or need more time to get used to new environments or situations. Building a relationship based on trust and respect is crucial for a healthy and friendly bond with your dog. If you feel like your dog isn't particularly fond of you, don't lose heart. Spend more time engaging with them, get to know their preferences and needs, and slowly work on building a closer bond and friendship. With time and effort, you can build a strong bond with your dog. Remember, by recognizing the signs that your dog might not be comfortable with you and addressing them with love and patience, you can create a positive and trusting relationship. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.